What is the role of an infrastructure engineer in an organization? An infrastructure engineer designs, deploys, and maintains the IT infrastructure of an organization. How do you ensure high availability and reliability of IT infrastructure? By implementing redundancy, failover mechanisms, and backup and disaster recovery plans. What are the key components of a cloud infrastructure? Virtual machines, storage, networking, and security are the key components of a cloud infrastructure. How do you ensure network security in a cloud environment? By implementing firewalls, VPNs, and access controls to protect against unauthorized access and attacks. What is the difference between public, private, and hybrid clouds? Public clouds are hosted by third-party providers, private clouds are hosted on-premises, and hybrid clouds are a combination of both. How do you handle capacity planning for infrastructure? By analyzing usage patterns and forecasting future demand to ensure adequate resources are available. What are some common server performance issues and how do you troubleshoot them? Common server performance issues include high CPU usage, memory leaks, and slow disk I.O., and they can be addressed through monitoring and optimization techniques. What is virtualization, and how is it used in infrastructure engineering? Virtualization is the process of creating multiple virtual instances of physical hardware resources, and it is used in infrastructure engineering to maximize resource utilization and flexibility. What is containerization, and how is it used in infrastructure engineering? Containerization is a lightweight form of virtualization that allows for more efficient deployment and management of applications, and it is used in infrastructure engineering to improve scalability and portability. How do you monitor and maintain the health of infrastructure components? By using monitoring tools and techniques to track performance metrics, identify potential issues, and proactively address them to ensure optimal system performance. What is the role of automation in infrastructure engineering? Automation plays a key role in infrastructure engineering by streamlining tasks and increasing efficiency. What are some best practices for backup and disaster recovery in infrastructure engineering? Best practices for backup and disaster recovery in infrastructure engineering include regular backups, testing backups for validity, and having a plan in place for disaster recovery. How do you ensure compliance with industry standards and regulations in infrastructure engineering? Ensuring compliance with industry standards and regulations in infrastructure engineering involves staying up to date with the latest regulations, implementing appropriate security measures, and regularly auditing the infrastructure. What is network segmentation, and how is it used in infrastructure engineering? Network segmentation is the practice of dividing a network into smaller subnetworks, and it is used in infrastructure engineering to improve security and optimize traffic flow. How do you optimize infrastructure for performance and cost efficiency? Optimizing infrastructure for performance and cost efficiency involves regularly monitoring performance metrics, identifying bottlenecks, and implementing cost-saving measures such as resource pooling and load balancing. What is the role of DNS in infrastructure engineering? DNS, Domain Name System, is used in infrastructure engineering to translate domain names into IP addresses, which enables devices to locate and communicate with each other on a network. How do you ensure data security in infrastructure engineering? Ensuring data security in infrastructure engineering involves implementing appropriate security measures such as firewalls, intrusion detection and prevention systems, and regular security audits. What is load balancing, and how is it used in infrastructure engineering? Load balancing is the practice of distributing network traffic across multiple servers to improve performance and reliability, and it is used in infrastructure engineering to optimize resource utilization and prevent downtime. How do you troubleshoot network connectivity issues? 
Troubleshooting network connectivity issues involves identifying the source of the problem, testing network components such as cables and switches, and using diagnostic tools to diagnose and resolve the issue. What is a VPN, and how is it used in infrastructure engineering? A VPN, virtual private network, is a secure and private network that is created over a public network such as the Internet, and it is used in infrastructure engineering to enable remote access and secure communications. How do you configure and manage firewalls in infrastructure engineering? Firewalls are configured and managed by setting up rules to control the flow of traffic to and from the network. What is the role of software-defined networking, SDN, in infrastructure engineering? SDN simplifies network management and enables centralized control of the network through software. What is the difference between IS, PaaS, and SAS? IS provides infrastructure components such as servers and storage, PaaS provides a platform for developing and deploying applications, and SAS delivers software applications to end users over the Internet. How do you ensure data privacy in infrastructure engineering? Data privacy can be ensured by implementing security protocols and encryption techniques and by limiting access to sensitive data. What are some common challenges faced by infrastructure engineers and how do you address them? Common challenges include scalability, security, and automation, which can be addressed through the use of cloud-based solutions, security protocols, and automation tools.